guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm naked faced because we're talking skincare. One specific skincare item, and this is something I hauled in my last Sephora haul, which if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check it out. I'll link it down below for you. Um, but I hauled this in that haul, and when I talked about this product, I let you guys know that I was already about halfway done with the process of using this product, and I already had some really good thoughts about it, and I wanted to know if you guys wanted to know more about those thoughts, and an overwhelming amount of you said, yes, yes, please, please. So that's what we're talking about today. This is the Lancome, I'm going to say this wrong, it is Vis Visionary, Visionari Crescionato. I'm going to leave it in the description box so you can know what I'm talking about. It is a peeling, uh, that is in a different language, progressive night peel. So I found out about this from watching one of Laura Lee's like most favorite products or something like that. I forget what she titled it, but basically it was a video that talked about like products that she really, really likes. And I've always been curious about peels, but I've always been terrified of peels because just the name itself, peel, is scary, right? Like, I don't want my skin to peel. It scares me. But she swears by this. She said it's amazing. It helped her skin so much. It helped to, like, reduce some fine lines and minimize her pores. And I was like, okay, I need to check that out. Okay, so just for reference, you guys, I am looking at the Sephora app. And this has 305 reviews, and it's rated over four stars, which is great. It's $75. And Sephora describes it as a dual phase leave-on liquid night peel that provides multiple benefits in one system, resulting in accelerated results on dullness, pores, dark spots, and wrinkles. So it's solutions for pores, dullness and uneven texture, fine lines and wrinkles. It says this easy to use leave-on liquid nighttime peel works to gently exfoliate skin surface cells and address multiple skin concerns like uneven skin texture, appearance of pores, wrinkles and fine lines, and dark spots. Okay, they've said that like three times now. We get it. Inspired by fitness interval training. Interesting, because I do high intensity interval training. I didn't know that. Um, a Visionari Crestionato <laughs> combines two different formulas within each each within their own unique ingredient combination to be used over a 28 night period as part of an interval training skin experience. Okay, so there is two phases. So the top part is phase one and then the bottom part is phase two. And it says start with phase one for 14 nights. So there's 5% bio acids, such as fruit acids, quinoa husk extract, that will work to reduce the appearance of pores, improve skin's texture and radiance. Then phase two for 14 nights, formulated with 10% derma acids, including 0.5% salicylic acid and 9.5% pure glycolic acid. It's a lot of acids. Um, this phase reduces the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. Repeat for 20, repeat the 28 night interval training experience as desired. Whew. Okay, so I have finished this entire phase. Um, I finished it a couple of days ago and as I was doing the phase I kept track of it on my phone. I took pictures, I took notes, how I was feeling, all of that and that's what I want to share with you guys today. I will let you know that I have oily slash combo skin. As I've gotten older my skin has gotten drier um, but it is still pretty much what I would consider oily skin. However, I have really dry patches that will occasionally sprout up. So specifically like right around my mouth and like right in this area of my face, it gets really, really dry, usually right around when the seasons are changing. And then sometimes I get like dry, like random spots on my forehead and sometimes the top of my cheekbones. It just kind of depends on what's going on. And for those of you who don't know, I used to live in Phoenix, Arizona, and I recently moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. Those are two completely different climates. So Phoenix, Arizona is dry, 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 hot desert. It's super duper hot, so you get really sweaty, 
but it's really, really dry and your skin dries out very, very, very quickly. However, my skin is relatively oily, so the dryness didn't impact my skin so much. And then in Charlotte, North Carolina, it is very, very humid. Very, very wet, very, very humid. It's still hot, not quite as hot as Phoenix, but it is so humid, you guys. To the point where like you sweat and you never dry, you're constantly moisturized, like you just feel wet all the time and it's, it's kind of disgusting. Um, but when I first moved here, it took my skin about three to four weeks to really figure out what was going on because for three or four weeks my skin was totally fine. It was kind of like, okay, you know, whatever, we're going on vacation. And then it was almost like a switch flipped and my skin was like, blah, where are we? What are we doing? And it started to freak out <laughs> and I started to get acne, which I haven't had like full blown acne breakouts in, I don't like 10 years. Like it's been a long time. I will occasionally get like a pimple or a lot of those like under the skin pimples, especially around, you know, that time of the month I will get pimples, but like a full blown breakout. Like I had forehead pimples, which I haven't had those. I remember getting those like when I was a teenager, like 14, 13, 14 years old, I used to get really bad forehead acne. Um, and I, I was starting to get that and I was like, okay, I need to figure something out with my skin. And on top of the acne, I just was getting like really weird texture. Um, I suffer really badly from milia, which if you don't know what that is, you should definitely Google it and see. Um, if you have it, then you know what it is and you feel my pain. But basically what it is, is it is like these little teeny white oil balls. They're hard little balls that form right under your skin. Babies get them a lot. And... They're so hard to get rid of. You can't just exfoliate them away because they're far enough under the skin to where like you have to really dig into the skin to pull them out. You're not supposed to do that, but I sometimes do do that and I will kind of like dig into my skin and pull them out and they're like these little white balls. So I was starting to get those again, like specifically I get them right here, like right around my eyes and I was getting like red spots. It's just my skin was like freaking out. So I... I was like, I need to do something about this. I need to fix the skin. And that is one of the things, one of the reasons why I purchased this. So it is a really hefty price tag. But before I kind of get into the details of my experience using this, I want to let you guys know I do definitely recommend it. Um, it definitely got rid of all of my active breakouts. I can definitely see an improvement in my skin's texture. I think my pores are... I mean, they're pores. You can't really reduce the size of a pore. You can reduce the appearance of pores, but the actual pore itself is always going to be there. You need those pores for your skin to breathe and to sweat. So, I mean, I still have pores, but most of the redness is gone and it is a whole lot smoother. On top of that, I do still have a couple of milia bumps kind of trailing behind, but for the most part, my milia is gone. And I did notice a slight reduction in my smile lines. Um, so I'm going to zoom in really quick and I'm going to turn down this bright light so you can see what my skin looks like. I'm not wearing any makeup at all. I am wearing my uh, moisturizer and I keep playing with my hair a lot. I'm sorry you guys. I straightened it for the first time in a while so I'm just like... Ooh, hair. Um, but what the heck was I saying? Oh, I'm wearing moisturizer, but that's it. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. So I'm going to put the before picture, like the day one picture, right here so you guys can see. But here's what my skin looks like right now. So you can see there's not a whole lot of unevenness as far as color goes. I do have a little bit of redness. I do have some kind of like vein capillary things right here, which those will never go away. Um, but I do have, you know, a little bit of redness, but for the most part, I don't have like splotchy, like splotches of redness anywhere. I don't have a whole lot of texture or like bumps. I usually get those like right around here. My skin overall looks really, really smooth and soft. You can still see some pores. Um, I have really big pores, like right here is where you can really, really see them um, and kind of on my nose, but for the most part, it is pretty dang smooth. This side of my face is my problem child. I don't know why. 
Um, people have said, is that the side of your face that you, you rest your phone on? And it's not. I'm left-handed, so I hold my phone like this. I don't know why this side of my face is my problem child, but again, I'm going to enter the before picture right here and show you what my skin looks like now. So there is still a little bit of redness and I wanna say that's kind of like acne scarring because it's not raised, it's totally flat, but it is a little bit discolored. This is where I got a huge breakout. And so I know if I recall correctly, when I was a teenager, the area stays red for a little while even after the acne goes away, but it is smooth. So the texture part of it is gone. Um, but other than that, it looks really, really good. Let's show you my forehead. I do not have any acne breakouts on my forehead. Very little discoloration on my forehead. And then my chin. And here's my smile lines. I didn't specifically take a before picture of my smile lines. But here's what they look like right now. Um, it is something that I'm keeping an eye on because they are getting kind of worse and worse as I get older but you can see they are not too bad right now. Okay, let's talk about phase one for a minute here. So phase one, I'm just gonna read you my notes so I don't like say anything incorrectly because I wrote like pretty extensive notes. I don't know if you can see that or not. So day one, definitely notice the smell right away. There is a very, very strong floral scent to this peel. It smells like all of the really high end like Lancome Foundation sometimes has that smell, their blushes, it's like a very strong floral scent, very strong, and the smell does not go away. So if that's something you're sensitive to, keep that in mind. So I said a tad bit tingly, but that went away almost immediately. I started with lots of acne, texture, large pores, milia, fine lines around my mouth and eyes, and dark spots. I do have dark spots, well, they're kind of gone now, but I had dark spots like right here which you can see in the before pictures, um, a small bit of redness on my cheeks. Okay, so that's how I started on day one. Day three, a lot more tingle. So when you put this on your face, which by the way, there's a pump on each side, I put two pumps of the liquid each time I applied it. So two pumps and then I spread it all around my face. So two pumps, put it in. Phase one was a lot more it wasn't thick, but it was more of the texture of like a serum. So it was a lot more easier to work with, whereas phase two was very, very liquidy, which I think I wrote that in my notes, but. So a lot more tingle, moisturizer helps. So if you put moisturizer on top of it, helps with the tingle. My skin feels tighter with it on and has turned a bit more red after application. Redness went away soon after. Skin feels plumper in the morning and acne has started to disappear. Okay, after week one, so remember you use each phase for two weeks. So week one, skin is softer and more glowy, acne is gone, still tingly upon application, no redness or irritation. Okay, two weeks in, so this is the end of phase one and these are my thoughts after the end of phase one. So I said skin is overall more smooth, a great reduction in texture on my cheeks slash highlight line, so I meant like right there. So a great reduction in texture there. Pores on my inner cheeks, forehead, and chin appear smaller. Smile lines are less prominent. Makeup has not settled in as badly throughout the day. Skin is still plump and fresh and hydrated feeling uh, the morning after. No redness or irritation from phase one. Still a lot of product left. Definitely enough for another round. I will say I was very, very pleased with phase one. Um, I actually looked forward to putting it on my face because it just made my skin feel plumper. And the next morning, I just felt like I was very hydrated and my skin felt very youthful and I really enjoyed phase one. Now phase two, I did have some problems with and I didn't take as many photos during phase two because phase two killed my skin, you guys. I think it literally killed my skin. And after reading the ingredients that are in phase two, it kind of all makes sense now. So the 0.5% salicylic acid, 9.5% pure glycolic acid. I mean, that's a lot of acid that's going on your face. My skin did not like phase two, but it was one of those things where sometimes it has to get worse before it gets better, you know what I mean? And I didn't quite realize that while I was going through the phases. Um, 
but I did not like phase two at all. So my notes for day one of phase two, so I said smells very strongly of alcohol. It does. So phase two is a lot more liquidy. It's almost like putting rubbing alcohol on your face. Like it does not feel good. It does not smell good. It it's, is bad. Um, oh, okay. I got it mixed up. So in my notes it says the serum is thicker. So phase two is thicker than phase one. You know what, looking in the bottle, they're kind of, whatever. It's almost a gel-like. It burns a lot. Um, more than phase one makes my eyes water really bad. There's still some texture on my forehead and cheeks that I want to get rid of. Day three, my notes say, skin is very dry and tight. It burns really bad when applying the gel. And that is where my notes end because I actually started to use the product every other day instead of every day. So it took me twice as long to finish phase two because it was drying out my skin. Specifically like right around here, my skin was so dry and flaky and it was the kind of flakiness where any foundation you put on top of it just looked a hot mess. It looked like cake. It was... It was not pretty to say the least. And I will kind of disclaimer that I used all the same skincare and all the same makeup throughout this entire process. That way I wasn't introducing any new variables. Um, so I was just having a really bad time. It was like, I can't remember if it was this side or this side. Um, I did a first impressions on the YSL foundation actually, like a wear test. And you can see in that video how bad my skin was. I wanna say it was this side. Um, it was just really, really red and it was really, really flaky. And I felt like every time I put phase two on at nighttime, it just got worse and worse and worse. So spreading it out to every other day really did help, but I think it kind of slowed down the process, but I kind of felt like my skin was just gonna like fall off if I didn't do that, you know what I mean? So I definitely recommend putting a moisturizer on top of phase two because it is very, very harsh on the skin, um, but, it does the job. It does what it says it's gonna do. It gets rid of the acne, it reduces the fine lines. Um, I wish I could have used it consistently like all the 14 days in a row, but I just couldn't. Um, I kind of wonder like would my results have been better or worse if I did that? I really don't know, but I think overall the product is definitely two thumbs up for me. I think I have enough to do the whole um, phase again. So there's like this much left on each side so there's about half maybe more of the product left so I can definitely do the whole phase thing again but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit I think I'm gonna give my skin a little bit of a break and try out some other skincare products in the meantime but definitely recommend if you're looking for something to kind of get rid of a texture it helped so much on the texture you guys it also helped a lot with the acne um, so if you're looking for something uh, that's not like proactive or you know specifically an acne treatment maybe you're like in your late 20s early 30s like me and you want to try something that's a little bit more adult I definitely recommend this um, if you guys have tried this before let me know what your thoughts were and what your results were and how you liked it in the comment section down below and if you guys have any questions for me definitely also let me know down below thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time